making it a goal that this year I prioritize myself and I love myself and I take care of myself. That means doing things that I like to do and looking how I like to look. That being said, we're gonna do a little get ready with me. So, um, my face is nice and clean. I just cleaned it. And I'm actually gonna try something new, which is putting on moisturizer before I do my makeup because I've seen a lot of people do this and it says it's supposed to be amazing. So I'm just gonna try it. And today I'm taking a new moisturizer that I have, which is the Earth Harbor Mermaid Milk thing. And now that I'm telling you about this, I might as well tell you where I got it from. I want to give a big thank you to Kinder Beauty for being the sponsor of today's video. Kinder Beauty is a subscription box that you get every month with vegan, clean, and cruelty-free products with no harsh chemicals in them. You get up to $165 in products every month for only $23. And your first box is called a Kinder Faves box which is basically $122 worth of products and it's favorite picks from Kinder Beauty. New subscribers that join a three or six month plan will automatically receive a free bonus box that's valued at $85 and that comes with their first shipment. Kinder's marketplace is actually open to everyone so that means that you can go on there and buy different things and if you are a Kinder Beauty subscriber, you can use your reward points because you get rewards to buy other things off their website. Speaking of rewards, when you do join the Kinder Beauty Club, you start earning these bunch of rewards that you can use towards Kinder Beauty. And each month, Kinder will donate a portion of those profits to some premier charity that they partner up with. Here I'm just showing you everything that I got in my box and how I've been using it. And this is the first day that I tried it because I wanted you to really see my first impressions. And now that I'm coming back, editing this after a while, these products are like, I use them literally every day, especially this glove. This glove is so easy to take makeup off with it. Another thing that I really, really, really appreciated and enjoyed was that it came with a little pamphlet that I could read everything about each product that I got. Like, well, I I knew what was going on in my face. I could read about it, I knew what was in it, and I can read exactly what was going on in my face. I do have a 50% off discount code you can use for your first box. It's GabbyM50. Everything is gonna be in the description box. And once again, thank you so, so much, Kinder Beauty. It smells so good. It kind of smells like, it smells like a tea. So I'm getting ready just for a normal work day. I don't get ready to go somewhere and work. I literally get out of bed, do my routine, and then just start working from my house. And that kind of discourages me from getting ready. Before I keep going, this is Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless Concealer and I'm just putting it on my eyelids and under my eyes. EIG Show Beauty Brushes, you know these are my holy grail. I completely forgot what I was saying before I cut myself off. So whatever. Next, I'm taking Laura Mercier Setting Powder, the translucent one. Just gonna do a little flip. I'm taking just a huge powder brush and I'm gonna go over my eyes. So I'm just gonna go over my eyes and then I'm gonna go over the spots where I get hella oily, especially my nose. Next, I'm gonna take some bronzer from MAC. It is in Refined Golden. Yeah, I'm gonna take this on a blending brush. Just Grab a bunch. This has been like my my thing. Like, I'm, I know I'm a little late to this because this was like a 2018, 2016, that era thing. But I get it and I put it in my crease. I'm doing it now, okay? I recently bought this. It's the Makeup by Mario Master Crystal 
reflector when i tell you it's glitter just in powdered form it's glitter like i i freaking love it you guys are watching me and you guys are not telling me my hair looks like this i'm gonna take a good amount and i'm gonna put that on my lid oh hold on i need to zoom you in because i really need you to see this you're not gonna tell me that isn't beautiful okay i'm gonna zoom you back out because you're a little you know you're a little close so i'm gonna zoom you back out but like this is insane this product is insane it's gonna forever be like a holy grail for me right now i'm gonna oh, i'm gonna brush out my eyelashes just so you know they're combed i'm also gonna brush out my eyebrows and i get so many comments about how i should go get my eyebrows done and it's like yeah i know i should because there's a point in time where they just get too crazy but then again like i just got thick brows it is what it is i have thick brows now i'm gonna go in with my mac eyeliner and photographer it looks like this and i'm gonna lightly go as close to my lash line as i can like hella close it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna go back this is like an outline literally an outline you can smudge it on okay so once you've done that still with this you're gonna create a little wing just a little one so you're gonna just flick it out a little bit I'm gonna take this it's an eyebrow brush see it looks like that but I'm gonna take this to clean up or not clean up but to blend what we did near the lash line now I'm gonna take still an EIG show beauty brush and it is the e835 brush this is the brush that I use. I've used this on my TikTok, like I showed it on my TikTok, and everybody and their moms was asking me where I got this from, and like what type of brush this is, or every time I use it, people always ask me. This is the brush, look. It is skinny as hell, bro. It is skinny, so you can get the perfect wing. So with this brush, the wing, the smudged out wing that we made, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to use this one to smudge it out into a better wing. This is a, literally the perfect brush. I would never want any other brush than this. I'm going to get the product on like the tip of the brush. And then I'm going to draw an inner corner. This is the most difficult part for me is drawing the inner corners. But I have to that's as good as i'm gonna get them i think this is one of my favorite parts of doing makeup it's mascara because literally the only reason is because of this i use the benefit roller lash that is how i get my eyelashes to look i recently found my favorite way to do mascara and it's a little a little much you know i it's a little extra for mascara but it's what makes my eyelashes look good. So I really like the cat eye like fan, fanning out effect. So I'll grab the mascara. I'll focus it first all over the outer corners. I'm gonna swipe it like twice in the inner corner. Barely swipe it in the inner corner and then I'm gonna keep you know, just making sure that I get the outer corner a lot. And then I'm gonna do the same on the bottom lashes. So then I'm gonna flip it over like that. I flip it so the arch is down. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna focus it completely 
on the outer corners and then swipe it like once or twice on the inner corners. And it gives you the fan effect. I love it. To clean up any mistakes, I think everybody knows this and does this. You just take a Q-tip and smudge it off. Now I'm gonna go do my other eye off camera. Um, after mascara. All right, let's move on to the face. <laughs> I recently bought this as well. It's the Fenty Beauty um, contour stick. And this is in Mocha. Well, she calls it the Match Sticks. Match Sticks is what she calls it. And I'm gonna put it like here. Like, like, you Mm. <laughs> like that's the only way I know how to really explain this a little bit just like that and then I'm gonna put a little bit down there I'm just starting and learning how to use contour like this because I don't do this so I'm gonna take um, an angled face brush and I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna start dragging this out because the point is to look lifted so that's how that blended I'm gonna take the same brush and get the bronzer the MAC bronzer I use on my eyes and Get a bunch and then I'm just gonna go over that just to kind of blend it out a bit more. Then just to bronze up my face a little more, I'm gonna take it and put it on my forehead but like into my lash line. I'm gonna add a little bit of blush and when I wanna do something natural, I love using the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in Rose Latte. I'm gonna take it on this weird looking brush. It's actually a foundation brush, but I use it like this cause it, I can like grab my cheek and I, c I cannot speak. I like using this one because it grabs my cheeks and the way I do my blush is I like to drag it up here. So I'll go like this and then just drag it up and doing it like this, I found really lifts up your face. I'll also put a little on my nose because why not? I usually put um, um, chapstick on. Before I do my makeup, I forgot to do that today. And now for a little bit of color, I don't, I don't really like this color too much i don't know i like it but i don't it's bite beauty it is their lip marker and this is the color calvados i don't know i'm gonna take it on the angle and line the lips That's pretty much it for the makeup. I have to set it in place and I'm gonna use the MAC Prep and Prime spray, the Fix Plus. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. <laughs> Please let me know what hairstyles I can do with my hair now. Now that it looks like this, what can I do with it? I'll just leave it down, whatever. This is a look. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love you.